Are you sick and tired of gambling your hard-earned money on Madden packs? Well, look no further than my sponsor, MMOEXP, for the cheapest and most reliable muck coins on the market. And don't forget to use code FURTY at checkout for 5% off. The link for their website will be right at the top of the description. What's going on, guys? Today we have the January episode of the Budget Demon series. Before we hop into it, if you are new here, hit that subscribe button. We're on the road to 20,000 subscribers. Put the subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And also, do not forget to hit that like button. Also, leave a link for my Twitch channel down in the description. I will be live tonight over on Twitch. So if you haven't come through yet, I recommend you do. And of course, as always, shout out to my man, man beast underscore Lucas for commenting the emoji on last video. So if you are new to this series, it's pretty self-explanatory how it works. I basically just go over budget players in this game. And the budget is 75k. So I try to get cards around 75k that you, that you can use right now and win some games with. I'm not saying you're, you'll be able to beat those god squads, but if you're a capable player with a brain, um, you, you can beat a lot of these games as long as you have like your chems right and stuff like that. Um, you, you can beat a lot of these games with these players. It's just based off speed and effectiveness. So I'm um, going to hop right into it. Let's do it. All right, so today we're starting off with a quarterback, and obviously Josh Allen has to be on this list. Going for a 72K right now, which is, yes, on the higher end of 75K, but this guy right here, I think he's still one of the better QBs in the game, even at his 92 version of himself. So yeah, 85 speed, so good speed for a quarterback. Gets Gunslinger, by the way, good throw power, good throw on the run. Does not have the best accuracies, but either put like Pocket or Roaming Dead Eye on this guy, and it'll help cover up his bad accuracies, honestly. So um, I like this card, you know, with Gunslinger, with Pocket Dead Eye, Josh Allen, still a very capable quarterback in this game. All right, so next up, we have another quarterback, and that is Dante Culpepper. Um, 85 speed, 87 acceleration. Um, good throw power does get gunslinger just like josh allen and honestly um there's not that big of a difference between josh allen and cole pepper i would honestly say whichever one you're able to get for cheaper which i mean it could differ on different days but um i do really like this dante cole pepper card but i mean wh which one do i like better cole pepper or allen it, it, it's honestly just splitting hairs like i really just can't pick one they're both basically the same player um it just comes down to the release you prefer and stuff like that but yeah cole pepper and allen both great options at quarterback and next up, we have our first running back on today's list, and that is Leonard Fournette. This card just came out, and he's really, really good. Has a power-up, so this card can be powered up to 94 speed with physicals, 96 speed on a running back with his power as well. Um, good break tackle, good stiff arm, um, good trucking as well. So yeah, Leonard Fournette, uh, definitely a very, very solid card, going for around a 75K. So um, another card that's towards the higher end of that 75K, but yeah, Leonard Fournette is just ridiculous, man. All right, so next man up is another playoff card, and that is Cam Akers, another great budget card, good speed, good acceleration. I'm not the best anywhere else, but the main thing I look for in these budget cards is speed. So, I mean, having 93 speed at 37K, um, I would say Cam Akers is kind of like a budget version of Leonard Fournette. If you have the coin to get Fournette, I recommend him, but if you are really running on a budget, Cam Akers is a great option. I face this card, and he's still... I mean, if the holes are there, he's going to hit them. 93 speed, still pretty good with that acceleration as well. Um, I love Cam Akers. He's kind of been a budget card all year. I'm waiting for EA to eventually drop that big Cam Akers card. I guarantee it probably never comes out. But um, yeah, Cam Akers, a solid option at running back. All right, next up, we have one of the running backs that I hate to face the most. And that is Willis McGahee. This card is just so annoying to face because he always is breaking tackles, always running dudes over. And for some reason, even with 92 speed... This guy has breakaway speeds. Like, he finishes those big runs. So, uh, Willis McGay... My head's just falling off. But, yeah, Willis McGay, he really is one of the better running backs in this game in general. And, yeah, 65K for this guy. I mean, yes, I know his power-up is a little bit pricey. But, um, I mean, this card is just amazing. Not really a pass catcher, though. But, as you guys can see, not really a pass catcher. But, everywhere else, McGay, he's just nasty. I'm telling you right now. This card... This card's fire, dude. And the next running back we got is 92 Herschel Walker. Um, another really, really good card. I mean, has the speed, has the acceleration, and also has good truck, good COD. Um, I mean, the juke and the spin move, um, they're not the best, but I mean, this guy's a speed and power kind of guy, so you kind of you want to be running dudes over, you know, falling forward. Um, has those big shoulder pads. Herschel Walker is really, really good in this game. And also, keep in mind, with Herschel Walker, there is no power-up, so this man is a legit 60K, so I'm um, a pretty good budget option there as well. Next card up, Reggie Bush. Um, Reggie Bush, really, really good as well, mainly because of his um, archetype, which is receiving back. Can get backfield master 1 AP. Um, I still really like the uh, Josh Allen and Cole Pepper and Reggie Bush combo. Um, that 1 AP backfield master with the gunslinger, it's a great use of AP, and I love that combo. Um, Reggie Bush, yes, I know he's a little bit slow or whatever, but I'm telling you right now, this card still plays great. And he, 
he may have been in a previous budget demon video but yeah, this guy deserves it man Re reggie bush also probably due for an upgrade um i think reggie will probably get a super bowl card honestly so yeah reggie bush i, I love this card grab his power up it's not that expensive uh, reggie bush is absolute fire all right so next up we have mike allslot the second fullback to make a budget demon episode of course the first was cj ham um the legend himself but but yeah mike allslot man good speed good strength I um, mean, the lead blocks, what you what you kind of want to look for, which is that 86, good impact block as well. Um, nothing else really matters, but if you want to run a fullback dive, the guy's able to get the job done, man. Um, 90 trucking. And I know that All Slot does have that 50 upgrade, but yeah, All Slot, his team of the week upgrade can definitely get the job done, even without a power up, honestly. Um, 50K for a fullback. And I know you're thinking a 50K for a fullback, probably not worth it, but having a good fullback definitely makes a difference in your run game um, for sure, like 100%, I promise you. All right, next up, we have one of my favorite cards on today's list. I actually still use this man, and that is Most Feared Scary Terry, man. Uh, this dude still makes plays for me left, right, and center. I I'm telling you, bro, good speed, good acceleration. Um, the route running hits all three thresholds, good catching. Also good after the catch as well. Um, yeah, I love Scary Terry, another card that I really recommend. 72K, yes, I know, um, is on that upper end of that 75K, but this guy can still be a number one option in any receiving core um th this card he, i love scary terry man he's so good all right next up we have cordell patterson and i thought that he was a lock for the kick returner of the year um i believe that gunner oshevsky or olevsky however, however you say his name got the card but cordell patterson's still really good um good speed not the best route running but where this guy is gonna stand out is after the catch 94 cod 91 juke um 87 spin good break tackle so i like cordell patterson you put him in the slot give him give him the ball in those short to mid scenarios and just watch him make people miss and also 6-2 he's kind of a big body um i really like this cordell patterson card i used him for a while on my theme team for a while but then i switched my theme teams obviously but yeah cordell patterson um definitely a really good card and for the price honestly a steal all right next up we have the budget slot demon himself and that is cole beasley man um 90 speed yes i know is not very enticing but um yeah good route running as far as mid and short goes this guy's only really a slot receiver so I wouldn't try him, you know, out wide running those deep post routes, but if you need a guy to run a hitch or a slant or a drag or a zig route, Cole Beasley's the man. Like, Slotomatic 2 AP. Uh, I mean, this card, I mean, he, he he definitely gets the job done. When I did a gameplay on this Cole Beasley card, I wasn't expecting much, but I, I remember him popping off in that gameplay. So, Cole Beasley might be kind of a slept on card, but he's actually very, very good. All right, so next up, we got MVS, and this card is basically the opposite of Cole Beasley. Um, because, yeah, like I said, I want Cole Beasley in the slot, but I want MVS out wide running those deep post routes. Um, has good speed, um, has a deep route running, good release, good COD as well. So, yeah, I really like MVS, another great budget option at receiver. All right, now we got our tight ends, and I'm telling you right now, buy Vernon Davis before he gets like a, a legend or an ultimate legend card. I'm telling you right now, it is coming, and he will probably end up being the best tight end in the game. And also, yeah, it's really good theme teams as well. You know, Niners football team. So his pricing going to be very expensive real soon. Yeah, but you guys see it. 88 speed, good acceleration at tight end. But my favorite part about Vernon Davis is his run blocking, man. 77 run block with that speed. Dude can play fullback. Also, you know, good route running as well. Um, I love Vernon Davis in Mutt, and I'm just waiting for his next upgrade to come. But 75K for this card right now, honestly, is a steal even without a power up. Next up, we have OJ Howard, and if you're watching this video probably like a week or a few days after, I'm sure this guy's price is much cheaper. Like, his price has already fallen like crazy. But yeah, OJ Howard, man, um, good speed, good acceleration. Also has really good route running as well. If you run play fake, we'll hit both thresholds. Um, OJ Howard also, yeah, 6'6". Six, six. So OJ Howard, 71K, uh, no power up as well. So he's a flat 70, 71K. Um, I love this card, man. I'm telling you right now, definitely a um, definitely a good option at tight end. All right, now we got defense. We're starting off at left end. We got Javon Curse. Um, this card was one of the best rushers in the game when he first came out. And honestly, he's still very, very effective. Good speed, good acceleration off the edge. Um, and for a left end, I mean, 87 speed is just crazy. But yeah, good pursuit, good tackling. Also 91 finesse moves as well. So uh, yeah, Javon Curse, crazy card. 71k and honestly even without a power up card still gonna play very nice all right so next up we got marcus davenport this man is 6'6 with 86 speed 93 power moves so he's more of a power rusher but yeah good block shed good pursuit good tackling not the best hit power but like, like i probably said many times in the past hit power really is not that important this year um i do feel like ea did tweak the fumble sliders a little bit but um i still don't value hit power as much as like having good block shed good pursuit and also you know being 6'6 um, you can't, I mean, like I've probably said this before as well, but there's no chem for height. 
Um, so yeah, six six on a on a card like this. Um, Davenport, he this card definitely plays crazy. All right, next up we got Mean Joe Green, and honestly, Mean Joe's one of those guys, just like Deion Sanders, just like Sean T, just like I mean, I, I guess you could probably say Mike Vick, that you kind of always want to have on your team because they're always good in mud. Like for some reason, Mean Joe plays way above his attributes. I know like the speed isn't really there, but yeah, you know, the block shed, the pursuit, the tackling, the power. I feel like it's probably the strength on Mean Joe that's so good. But yeah, 92 power moves. Uh, mean Joe Green will stuff any run in the middle and also can rush the pass like a demon. Um, I think Mean Joe is probably the best defensive tackle on this list. I do have a few more. Um, but yeah, I love Mean Joe, man. This card, he, he, I always hate facing Mean Joe. Even though this card came out so long ago, he's still so good. And next up, we have Sheldon Richardson. Um, this card is a little bit cheaper than Mean Joe. It's not by much. I still would prefer Mean Joe over Sheldon Richardson. But he's still really solid, man. I mean, 85 acceleration, good strength, good block set, good tackling, good power, good finesse moves. Um, Sheldon Richardson's kind of just like a budget version of Mean Joe, I guess I would say. But yeah, still a pretty solid card. That's all I'm going to say. Still pretty solid. And next up, I know this card is 3K over 75K. But Mo Lewis, I did not expect this card to be so cheap. I'm not sure why he's so cheap either. I mean, has good power moves at 92. Um, good speed, good acceleration, but also 90 zone as well. So can also rush the passer, and if you need him to, can also drop in his zone. I'm also good pursuit, good tackling, good hit power, good block shed. Um, if this card does drop in, like, into like that 70k range, you should have him on your team. I mean, Mo Lewis, 93 overall, going for this price. I mean, I'll take it, bro. It's, even if he, even if you don't really use him that much, or, or if you feel like he's not that effective, that's probably why this card is so cheap right now because dudes don't really know or feel like Mo Lewis is that good. But yeah, I mean, this card is good. And for like 70k, 75k in that range, this card is an absolute steal. And next up, we have Von Miller, 86 speed, 87 acceleration, 93 awareness, 93 pursuit, 87 hit power, 91 power, 88 finesse moves. So um, Von Miller can do both. Um, good speed as well. And Von Miller always just plays well in mud, always gets great sheds. So Von Miller, that's why he's on the list. I'm not sure if he's going to get any more upgrades. This man is under investigation right now by like law, law enforcement. So... Um, we'll see what we'll see what the future of Von Miller cards look like, but this card right now, very good. All right, next up we have Jadavian Clowney, and just like Von Miller, Jadavian Clowney's on this list for the same exact reason. Clowney always plays good in mutt. Still a card I hate to face. Six five, good block shed, the pursuit. Um, they didn't give him the best hit power this year, but if you guys remember that free agent Clowney last year, that card played crazy. I mean, this card isn't as good as the free agent Clowney, but still a very very good card. A good power move. Um, good speed as well. Um, I love Clowney and Mutt. Not that great in real life, but in Mutt, Clowney always plays well. All right, so now we got our middle linebackers. First one we're looking at today is Patrick Willis. Um, this card always plays well in this game. Good speed, good jumping, 91 acceleration, good blocks, good pursuit, the tackling, the hit power. And I know middle linebackers don't play that well in this year's game, but Patrick Willis, he's honestly still a top tier middle linebacker, even though he is, you know, 75K. And honestly, even without a power up, this card still plays fine. So yeah, Patrick Willis, major W, going for this price is a major steal. All right, so next up we have Jordan Brooks. This card just came out, and he is really, really good as well. Um, you could probably argue that he's better than Willis potentially, but yeah, same speed, the good acceleration, um, good block shit, the pursuit, the tackling, the hit power. Uh, Jordan Brooks, another great option at middle linebacker, and for 65k, no power up. That's also a steal as well. And next up we have a man who is. Yes, over the budget by 1K technically, but yeah, he is worth it. Uh, I mean, D Derek Thomas still gives me fits when I play against him. I do use him right now, and the card is just amazing. 88 speed, good acceleration. Um, Hits the power and finesse move threshold, so uh, I mean, you, if you know what that means, you know this card's going to play nasty, good block shit, the hit power, the pursuit, the tackling. Um, Derek Thomas, yes, again, even though power up, card still is going to play great, um, and I could see this guy's price just keep falling. Um, Derek Thomas is just absolutely disgusting out there, man. All right, next up, we have Fuyasade Louicon. I believe I said that right. If I said it wrong, please grill me down in the comment section. But yeah, good speed, good pursuit, great in zone coverage. And this is the reason why you get a Louicon um, because of the coverage. I mean, you guys see the pass rush stats. They are not there at all. But 87 zone, um, you can drop this guy out there in coverage. Has great speed for his price. Um, and Louicon is, he's, he's, he's solid, man. He's definitely solid. All right, so now we have our DBs, and the first one we're looking at today is DRC. And this card, I feel like, is starting to get outdated for the God Squads, but for the budget demons, man, uh, this guy is about to, about to make a big impact. I'm telling you right now. Yes, he is fairly expensive right now, but the speed, the acceleration, the man, the zone, the press, uh, I mean, also the size as well. DRC, 
honestly still plays well. Um, we'll still get burnt, obviously, by like the 99 speed guys. But I mean, DRC, I mean, hopefully his price keeps falling. And when it does, uh, I mean, 92 speeds, some of the best you're going to be able to get for this price. So um, I feel like that's probably the best spot to spend your coins on cornerback. So I would probably try to avoid going budget for corner because there's so many 99 speed wide receivers in the game this year that... I mean, already that you want to have your fast corner so a guy just can't run a streak or a post ground and beat you that way. So if you are a budget person watching this video, splurge on your running backs right now. Just splurge, go crazy um, as the Knicks ad. I swear these targeted ads are just, they, they, they want me. They want they want me to buy my Knicks gear. I'm not going to not gonna fold though. But um, yeah, DRC, very good. Um, but yeah, I would splurge on your, on your, on your cornerbacks. And next up, we have Entrell Roll, um, 92 speed, uh, 90 acceleration, uh, good zone, good man, good press. Um, also has good pursuit, good catching, also good size at six foot. Entrell Roll plays well in this game. Um, but yeah, the speed, if you're, if you're facing, you know, 99 speed, Santana Moss or Deshaun Jackson, it's going to be a long day for you. But I mean, still pretty good price at, at 65K. And next up, we have a card that actually just came out, and that's NFL Playoff Teron Johnson. Um, good speed at 93, great acceleration at 96, good awareness, good play rec. Um, also, yeah, with lockdown, which everyone should be running lockdown, by the way. If you're not running lockdown, what are you doing? But yeah, 90 man, 88 zone coverage, 90 pursuit, really, really good against the run. That's that's basically what that means right there. So Teron Johnson, he's probably my favorite budget guy that we that I mean, he's probably my favorite budget DB that we've gone over so far. Um, and probably well, probably my favorite on this list, honestly. Teron Johnson, this card is really, really good. All right, so next up, we have kind of a curveball, and that is Denzel Ward's power-up up until the point where you need his 96 playoff collectible. So this card's really good. I mean, yeah, 93 man coverage, um, good play rec at 90, 94 speed as well, 94 COD, 94 acceleration. Um, and you should and you should be able to get this card for around, like, it'll, it'll be pretty close to 75K, um, even with the training. So Denzel Ward, another great option. Um, if you have, you know, Sprinter, 96 speed, um, I guess could get the job done in this man. I mean, you, I, I'd run one step. If you're a budget guy, I would be running one steps to try to help, you know, cover up the speed differential between most of the guys. So, yeah, I recommend going one step on these budget corners as well, by the way. But Denzel Ward, definitely another great option. And next man up, we have Cliff Harris. Dude's got 91 speed, 91 acceleration, um, 91 agility, good zone. Um, with lockdown, will hit the man coverage threshold and also very good against the run as well. Um, 80 block shed, which actually is not the best, but I, mean, I guess for a safety, it's not bad. But good pursuit, good tackling, good hit power. Cliff Harris, just a very solid option out there. Um, at 6-1 as well. Cliff Harris is fire, man. All right, now we got Buda Baker. I mean, 91 speed, 92 acceleration. Um, good man, good zone, good pursuit. Kind of a, like you could say, there's probably an argument that he is better than Cliff Harris, but... Um, yeah, I, I value both these cards basically the same. Both are great cards. Um, so, yeah, the next card we got is Pat Watkins. This man is 6'5". He's going for 67K. Has good speed, good acceleration. Does not need a power-up. Um, I love Pat Watkins as a user because I feel like on current gen, I can't speak for next gen, but on current gen, when you whenever you user a card, I feel like that card is just faster. I'm not sure what it is, but I recommend getting Pat Watkins and using with him at 6'5". Um, I'm telling you right now, a, a ball that's thrown 15 yards over his head, he will probably animate and catch it. So Pat Watkins, great user, also great lurking as well because you know with lockdown hits both thresholds, good against the run as well. Pat Watkins, this card is really really good, and for this price, um, it's just another steal. This is a card that still I this is a card that I still see on God Squads because he is six five. And our last defensive player of the video is Jeremy Chin. Um, I know this card has some very ugly stats like the zone coverage and the tackling but when i use jeremy chin there was not a single man on my defense that made more plays for me as far as animating being six what six three i know he's 80k right now for some reason his price shot up for some reason who knows why it'll probably fall back down but uh it, it's probably it probably went up because people are trying to get their their um jamal adams collectibles for tomorrow but his price will come back down I'm um, probably, you know, after team of the week and stuff like, I'm mean, team of the year and stuff like that, but well, also probably because of the, the uh, TJ Watt set as well. But yeah, Jeremy Chin, cards fire, um, good against the run as well. I also would like to see this card user too, because his own coverage is not there, but uh, Jeremy Chin, the guy makes plays and um, this is, this is definitely a first on the, uh, the, for the budget demon series. Um, we have a kicker, man, and that's Tyler Bass, 70 K. Um, his price is going down right now, but yeah, has some of the best kick power in the game um cards fire recommend you go and get them um i should probably have them on my team right now i'm still rocking with morton anderson but tyler bass 
This man's the real deal. Um, and for 70K, if, if you need a kicker that's able to kick those long field goals, Tyler Bass is your man. All right, guys. So that is going to do it for the January edition of Budget Demons. Um, I feel like this episode was probably one of the longer ones. There are so many good cards that are in that 70K price range now. So, um, yeah, I guess it's kind of a good time to be a budget player. But also it's not because you're facing 99 Speed Santana Moss. You know, the theme teams out there are crazy. And also another tip, if you are a budget player and if you are still watching this video... Um, you gotta have a 25 out of 50 theme team at least. If I mean, and if you can't have that, at least have two. Um, I'd probably say one is probably better for budget players because um, you want to be able to get those more effective budget guys that don't that, that don't always fit. You know, a, a 25, 25 theme team. But at least one 25 out of 50 theme team is definitely the move. Um, to help you know cover up some speed. Um, and also yeah, one step on your corner stuff like that can definitely help you win some games. But um, yeah, if you are still watching. Let's comment the pancake emoji for a chance to be shouted out in the next video. And if you are new here, hit that subscribe button for notifications. We post daily Madden 21 content. And as always, I will see you boys in the next one.